Listen and do not talk. The drop will be made tonight, 11 p.m. The amount will be $15 million. $15 million? Who do you think you picked up, Chelsea Clinton? Detective James Carter. <laughs> Loved his job just a little too much. You destroyed half a city block. That block was already messed up. And you lost a lot of evidence. Still got a little bit left. But the job got a little too dangerous. You have 29 minutes left. I got it. I want to speak for my daughter. Ah! I was about to get his daughter back and you screwed it up. I would like one of my people to help. Now it's time to bring in the master. Please tell me you speak English. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I don't want no partner. I don't need no partner. And I ain't gonna ever have no partner. Did Kojak have a partner? Yeah, the fat guy. Did Columbo have a partner? No, 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 no. You put your own bag in the back. I'm not a sky cat. Ah, it's your boy. Oh, hell no. Don't you ever touch a black man's radio, boy. There are two cops with nothing in common. Do it again. Like this? Except the case. Hello, you have one more chance. They can't walk away from. Agent Carter's a very passionate about fighting your daughter. Last time you saw him? 1977. He had his bags packed by the front door and he picked them up and put them in the back of his car and uh, drove away. Last time I ever saw him. I once ate a foot-long corn dog on a nude beach. I'll never do that again. Number two. If you're allergic to waffles, don't eat waffles. <laughs> then don't take me to a waffle house. If I miss the birth of my child, I'm going to choke you out with your own scarf. Wrap that thing around your neck and choke you out. Seems a bit drastic. Holy moly, like I'm traveling with a child. Did you use the restroom? Good point. I need to take a pee-pee. <laughs> Check this thing out. I can't believe I did that. Oh, it burns! Don't panic! Don't panic! Ah! Oh, I see the rental agreements in the... Look, you know what? I have coverage. <laughs> is that a drainage ditch coming up? Yes, it is. Real hard. 
<laughs> Old Sonny. Nope. Hand me that dog. I will rip it in half. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. very small and I was always pushed around by bullies and I thought gee wouldn't it be great if I was a mighty person instead of a poor kid I imagined I'd like to be a rich playboy and fight crime at night we never drew ourselves what would inspire us to draw poor little guys and I felt that the world desperately needed a crusader if only a fictional one Uncover the history and discover the secret origin of DC Comics. Go behind the fiction. We love comic books because we think maybe if the conditions present themselves, we will be the hero of the moment. And beyond the legends of an American art form. Easy, miss. He said, see, I love it. What do you call it? Maybe we'll call it the bath hyphenated man. I think a lot of these characters were special and different and unique. And I remember connecting to a lot of the superheroes in that sense. I remember running at my hands in front of me, pretending I was flying. These characters are going to be around forever. Up in the sky! Look! It's a thing! It's a plane! It's Superman! This is the extraordinary true story of the American visionaries. We all were kids from the Bronx. We were innocent, talented guys. Someone suggested, why don't we put out the flash again? Everyone looked at me. Who saw beyond what we were to who we could be. They're still around after all these decades because they have been allowed to evolve. We'll fight you. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Comic books are the dreams and aspirations of human beings. The best artist in the world and the best writer in the world, they will make the greatest piece of art in the world. And you know what you'll call it? You'll call it a comic book. Secret Origin. The story of DC Comics. Look for it on DVD and for download.